So it's like Christianity. You have to think, okay, the same way you're talking about, okay, the Islamic and the slavery and whatnot. I'm from Jamaica. Mm. And I know what happened in my country. Mm. And it wasn't by Islam. Look, uh, I never me... live under, listen to me. Okay. I never live under no Islamic, look, Wolan. Yeah, I, I never live, I, was, I never live under no Islamic, Wolan man, they are talk man. Nobody gonna tell yeah. me what I go to I or what I do not to. Say, I didn't say that, and I didn't deny that. I so, said your experience does not reflect what is in the Bible. So would you like someone calling you and me and I would all your Caribbean oh, people? Sorry. I would embrace him if he's called you a raisin head. Well, maybe I'm let, wrong. Let's, you know. let's use the EDF flower team. Why do you think they don't talk to me? Because I think we'd probably give, a, give them a pretty good run for their money. Well, because I think you might actually show, highlight contradictions. Well, and that's the thing. So, they also like to use bully tactics on unlearned Christians. And that works both ways because I'm not, I'm, this is my first time. Yes. And I've watched you on YouTube. Yes. And to tell you the Christians don't come across very well. Some of the Muslim also yes. doesn't come across. This is the thing. I've heard about this place the yeah. first time I've come up, okay. and I've watched a lot on YouTube. Yeah. You know, the, the guy you was talking to, and I see them, and yeah. that lady. Yeah. No, he comes across. But what I'm saying is just attack, the attack, attack, attack. That's not his way, is it? No, I'm not saying it's his way. I'm talking about no, because you know he's, he's very articulate. He doesn't always answer the questions sometimes. <laughs> no, no, but this is it. If someone asks you a question, yes. you answer it. Whether you're right or wrong, if you're wrong, yeah. and then the person corrects you, then you've learned something. And it shouldn't be whether you're a Christian or he's a Muslim. Because it's like saying, we are black and he is white. Mm -hmm. So it's like Christianity. You have to think, okay, the same way you're talking about, okay, the Islamic and the slavery and whatnot, I'm from Jamaica, mm. and I know what happened in my country, mm. and it wasn't by Islam. Mm. I remember when, hey, turn this over here, we are going with. Put it by me. Sorry. <laughs> no, see, that was I very, remember. That was but, very forthright. You see, you've no, no, been no, no, here no, like no, no. very 10 minutes, and uh, yeah. <laughs> you've become what you've. <laughs> no, no, no. But what I'm saying, because <laughs> I came here in '65, yes. and I remember when I come, we weren't allowed in the church. Okay. So Doctor. what are you saying? Those right. people who you were came where in here in this country, in, this country in 65 and you yeah. weren't allowed in the church. Why do okay. you think there's black churches now? What did I tell you? Okay. So were there Christians or not Christians? That I can't speak for, I don't know. But if if they if hold they, on, they if, no but if they let me finish. Were your parents, but, yeah, but let me finish. Let me finish. My prince are from Ghana. But if they did, that wouldn't have been a very Christian thing to do. But I right. can but you've heard that of it did. though. I actually haven't like heard in terms of churches. Oh, I'm in my face. <laughs> okay. So you, you <laughs> speak to your parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speak to your parents because you heard what happened when they first came here and they were nurses. Yeah. What happened? Well, my parents actually came no, in the um, when the, like the Windrush generation. Yes, yeah, right. So yeah, when yeah. they came and they were nurses, what happened? There was a lot of discrimination and stuff like that. And who were the people that was doing it? Uh, it was the British people. Okay. And what religion did they practice? Uh, yeah, they were Christians. I wouldn't say they were Christians. No, no, Christianity but, doesn't teach you. No, that. no, no. Yeah, but of course, that's that's the point I was going to get to. But oh, okay. in terms of what they would profess, they would profess to be Christians. But then there's a difference between what the Christianity teaches you, because it teaches you, you know, there's no Jew, no Gentile. You know, we are all we shouldn't discriminate based on colours, mm. so to speak. So that was a British society, an issue with British society. You know, you used to have the signs: no blacks, no dogs, no, no Irish, Irish, and yeah. stuff like that. So, um, but yeah. The church part, I, I've not heard before, but I, I take it as, you know... I'm no, no, it, this, is, this is the fact. This is why a lot of black churches started to form, because even in after slavery, don't forget, it was partition. Yeah. And if you're saying you don't know, because you're 30, well, you're... <laughs> you're 30. <laughs> my daughter is older than you. <laughs> Oh uh, my gosh, why do they call you paper boy? Paper boy. Uh, well, because I discuss from the Christian point of view okay. and Jesus brought the gospel. You do discuss very well though. Thank you. No, no, you do. You do well, yes. that's what I believe Speaker's Corner should be, dialogue. Um, and I try to keep to that. But sometimes depending on who you're engaging with, 
you sometimes because what they want to do is overpower you so you can't talk then sometimes you have to then do like for like to kind of get your point across but someone like you or whoever if I could I prefer to have a dialogue so people can listen and learn because when it's shouting matches no one can understand what's well, going on well the goes up and then nobody's receiving anything yeah so it, it depends on who you're talking to and I feel like a lot of the Islamic Dao team in this park so I'll ask you a of, question um, if you're having a discussion with someone like me myself if I'm having a discussion with someone and I see they don't want to listen then I stop yeah because your brain is acting like a firewall yeah so you're sending a message and so why don't you stop? Uh, because for me, I think because if the video is going to go on YouTube, my oh, okay. primary so other people can learn. Oh, okay. Like that's okay. my thing. I want people to listen and learn, even if it's just from my responses okay. or whatnot. Because what's your belief system? My belief system. Yeah. What do you believe in? Well, my wife's Christian. Okay. My children are Christian. Okay. My mum's a Christian. My father was a Christian, everybody's a Christian apart from me. Because? Because I became a Muslim. You became a Muslim? Yeah. Based on what? Well, what I saw, what happened in the church, see how Christians behave. But when I came to the country, there were certain things I couldn't get my head around. Okay. And you've had discussions about it. And this has nothing to do with Muslim, because okay. I grew up in Muslim years ago, but I fought against it. Yeah. And um, I couldn't get my head around this Jesus is God. Okay. And then when I asked the priest, please don't have me on, the, on, on there, okay. And when I asked the priest about, he says, oh, you're a problem trying to blah, blah, blah. I said, no, you're there to ask the question. We always yeah. to agree. And that was always, I always believed that there is a God. Yeah. But I never believed Jesus. And even up to today, yeah. I could never get my, because the way it's explained, that he's a man. Yeah. Now, is he going to be beside somebody? <laughs> At the end, is he going to be? Because I don't really read the Bible that well. I'm starting to read the Bible now. Is he going to sit beside somebody? Well, the Bible says like he'll be beside the Father. Right. So if you're going to be, no, mm. I could be wrong. Yeah. But if you're going to be, if I'm going to be beside this gentleman, yeah. Then that means this person isn't. Yeah. Maybe I've got it wrong. I don't know. But yeah. this is always my kind of thinking. Okay. So, in terms of me being at the park now my reason as i said to explain to people is for people like yourself because i believe many people leave the church because sometimes they're not getting the questions answered that are genuine questions and that's where sometimes the church is failing people and then people come up with other doctrines theories religions that kind of sway people into what they their belief system but i think the questions and answers are within christianity but it requires the right people to always be able to explain it. So going back to the point about um, black people, in terms of you said the way that turned you off the church, mm -hmm. but then I would say, one, we're, even with Islam, you have that same problem. Because, for example... The human factor. Well, yeah. You have, and because nowhere in Christianity... Because, remember, you had the Arabic trade slave slave trade which right. lasted far longer and was far worse than the transatlantic slave me off trade of Islam because I was saying no I'm not going to do Christianity because of the slave trade and I wasn't <coughs> going to go into Islam because yeah. of the same thing but when where I they used to castrate it, black people as well now the, the question is were there Arabs or were there Muslim there is a, that's that's a big difference because yeah. It's like, for me, when I started to read more, especially about the Quran and the Muslims and whatnot, yeah. and I started to read the Bible, then I looked at the slavery and I looked at it differently. I'm thinking, no, it wasn't the Christians. Yeah. It was people that professed to be Christians. Yes, I agree. But then, so, but then you have a problem still. Because we then, for example, we'll go back to the Christ. Yeah. But if we go back to Muhammad, even Muhammad had black slaves. Yeah. And we have their stories where he traded two black slaves for one non-black slave. But you which, can't compare that slavery yes. to what happened in the 16th or 17th century. Yes. Because but that's where what, it stemmed from. But the thing I like about Islam, since I've embraced it and I've started to study, I'm not a scholar or anything like that. At least in Islam, the companions, the Africans, or something from here, in Christ Christianity, 
Where are we? Okay. No, what, now, what do you it? think Adam was? Yeah? What do you think Adam was? Let's start from the beginning. What do you think Adam was? Do you mean do you think? Yeah, yeah you said where? Kinda. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've never actually asked myself what colour it was. Mm. Built from the clay, the mud. What colour is the mud? Well, different. You got different colours. Mm. And where was it? What co what continent? Africa. So what what do you think Adam would have been? So like oh Adam. Yes 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 yes. yes. Mm. Because the first man is African, and the first woman is African. So if that's the case, then for how many centuries has Christianity portrayed it the other way? Yeah, but to see what you have to realize is because. We see, for example, a white Jesus, and that's only because it's been Europeanized. Right. If we go to Ethiopia, we will see Christ as a black man. Because yeah, yeah. it's people generally portrayed, you can go to you know, China or uh, Japan, and Christ will be portrayed. So what we have picked up is more of a Europeanized, just right. because, Western, yes. because obviously Christ would not have been a Caucasian person. Right. You know, so, the whole white thing is just more because when Christianity was spread in and they started to kind of make recreate images of Christ, they just portrayed him as looking as themselves because people are generally more receptive to someone that looks like like yourself. And that's why if we go to Ethiopia, the Coptics will see like many images of a black Jesus and such and such. But then, just not moving off the topic of uh, the slavery because we now see that Muhammad himself he had he owned slaves which is where it stems from that whole but in Christianity they own slaves yes they actually contribute and actually finance the slave trade yes the kings of this country who were but then but then what you would have to do the Royal African com Company yes. they, they did it but then let's this, this differentiate because no, we're no. looking at Christ versus Muhammad, the, the starting point. Yes. So now, Muhammad, yeah. he, I, I can bring up the hadith, for example, there's a hadith where now, he... when you say you bring up the hadith... Yes, yeah, the sunnah. The sunnah, I understand that, and the Quran. Have yes. you read the Quran? Not in totality. Right, so, one thing I don't like, if you haven't read something, you yeah. cannot comment about it because you've been unfair. Is that's yeah. why I never comment about the Bible because I've read bits and pieces. Obviously, I've grown up with bits yes. and pieces, so I cannot. Com I, I don't so, do you, do you believe in Nazism? Huh? What's your view on Nazism? Huh. Well, according to how history has portrayed it, very nice. But you haven't read any of the. I don't have to read. Why not? Because. There's documents. There's okay. actually films about it. Okay. Now, but that's just, that's going against no, no, what you no, said. No, because no, no, no. You said you cannot critique something unless you've read it. So yeah, but what you're seeing no, what you're could be a misrepresentation no, what of what you're saying. Yes. Is like mind camp. The, the, no, the Quran. Mm. Now, if you don't read the Quran, how can you comment about it? How can I say this and this about the Bible if I haven't read it? I haven't opened it up and actually understood it. Yeah, because you can read elements of it and question it no. and if someone because you you can no, read the bible like from back knowing, to front it's like you just met me and yeah. you're going to say oh you know me but you could read the bible from the back to the front and you still wouldn't understand That's, it that is perfectly true so is reading perfect. is not always exactly maybe you what? need somebody mm. who's more of a scholar to help you yes so but you're still so my thinking this is why i refuse to make comment about islam and okay because i i didn't really practice christianity but now for example you follow prophet muhammad and you we follow christ now christ is someone you say with, i follow muhammad but if you're a muslim no i follow him yeah but you he's a prophet you, as he's a, a, yeah yes. it says you follow the quran and the sunnah so the sunnah is of the and prophet I, and we follow jesus well, not the no, no, not no, the real Jesus, the the no, the, um, no, they, the Islamic. That's, that's, that's another discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The real Jesus, because you know, because you're saying that he's 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 God and everything. But yes. we're saying that he's he's not God. Yes. So, for example, let me ask you this question: yeah. What makes you believe Muhammad is a prophet? To me. Yeah. What? Okay. Two questions. See, what makes you? What brought you to Islam, Islam. Okay. and what makes you think Muhammad is a prophet? Like right. The first thing that brought me to Islam was my mum, even Your mom. though she's okay. a Christian. Because as I said before, I was always a 
against Islam. Yeah. And then a brother said to me before he went home, he said, look, here's the Quran, here's the Bible, read it. Now, because I was looking after my mum, I couldn't get to do, all I could do was read it. I'm reading, I'm reading, reading the Bible, I'm reading the Quran, and I start to gravitate towards the Quran. It appealed to me more. And then I started to read the, the Bible, and it started to make more sense. Certain prejudices I had against Christians, mm. it started to fade. Mm. And I started to look at things correctly, thinking, no, just because this man did something doesn't mean that he's a Christian because his behaviour is not that of a Christian when you read what Jesus says. Mm. That's how I started to, and then when I started to find out for myself, because the guy said to me, are you ready, you, you don't drink, you don't do this and whatnot, you're Muslim. So I said, what is a Muslim? And he explained to me, he said, do you want to take a shot? I said, what's that? Mm. And, he, and he told me, I said, well, I believe there is one God, but I said, who is this Muhammad? Mm -hmm. So he said, look, take this book, and I read the book, and I researched on Muhammad and whatnot, and then, alhamdulillah, I became a Muslim. Because certain things appeal to you. Because because of my training in the martial arts and whatnot, I studied Zen. Okay. I studied all these kind of things because I thought something was lacking in Christianity. Because mm -hmm. if, if something wasn't lacking to me, I'm not saying there's something in Christianity is lacking, I wouldn't be searching. It's like you have a woman, and if you're satisfied with your woman, you won't be out there searching. If something's not being done at home, you search. Okay. So but as regards to Muhammad as a prophet, yes. there are certain things that are pointed towards him being a, a prophet. Such as? But you're asking someone who's just become a Muslim. Recently. Okay. Recently. So, because the reason... Go on. The reason why I was... Yeah, I, yeah. I just wanted to kind of contrast between Christ and the teachings of Muhammad. So, yeah. for example, this is the Quran, 98.6. And it says, indeed, yeah. they who disbelieved amongst the people of the scripture and the polytheists yeah. will there will be in fire of hell, abiding eternity therein. Those are the worst of creatures. Mm -hmm. Now, Christ came with a message of love your neighbor as you love yourself. Be careful, uh, 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 be careful because mm. he also came, he came with the sword as well. In what sense did he come with the sword? Does it, hang on, does it mm. not say that he come with the sword in the Bible? And I'm going, in no, what no, context? No, 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 again, yes. this is what I see. Mm. When you talk to a Muslim, you take yes. it like that is the literal thing. And then when it comes to Christian, yes. it's to talking about one context, it's like the double yeah, standard. Yeah, I, I can read the, I'll read the verse for you, because I just wanted to see if you understood the context. And we can both look at the context, because uh, Christ, Christ saying he came to bring the sword doesn't, because you may hear sword and think it's, it's some well, sort people of... people contribute the sword to Islam and, is, and it doesn't say also in the Quran. They contribute many things to okay. Islam and it doesn't say in the Quran. So let's go to Matthew And where is this 10, source coming from as well? Yeah, the Quran. I'll, I'll give you the, all the references. So we'll, li we'll look at the... Compare, compare what Jesus said and what Muhammad said. So Matthew 10... 34. So Christ says, do not think mm -hmm. that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, mm -hmm. and a daughter against her mother, mm -hmm. and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. And the person's enemies will, will be those, those of, his of his household. Mm -hmm. Whoever loves the father or mother more than me is mm -hmm. not worthy of me. And whoever loves the son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life will, for my sake, find from a it. a Christian perspective, yes. what does that mean then? So this is saying, yeah. and I just use the last part, yeah. and then I'll explain. It says, whoever loves... No, no, no. When it talked about the sword... Yeah, so this encompasses what the beginning is, and I'm going to yeah. oh, then okay. explain. Whoever loves the father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Mm -hmm. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me mm -hmm. is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take me, his... Me, talking about God? Yeah, if a, a, Jesus right, so is God. so that means... Let me, I want to try to make sure. That means what he's saying, who we should love first is God. Yes. Then everybody else, spirit, okay. Yes. Right, okay. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Mm -hmm. Whoever finds his life mm -hmm. will lose it, mm -hmm. and whoever loses his life for me, mm -hmm. for my sake, will find it. Mm -hmm. So now, for example, we see many situations where, even for example, um, honor killings, even with Islam, or even other um, religions as well, mm -hmm. 
with it, um, some Asian, even African mm -hmm. religions, where someone may take uh, religion, let's say you become a Christian, mm -hmm. but that's going to set you against your family. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's what Christ is saying. Whoever accepts me, mm -hmm. the, the, um, the burden mm -hmm. is potentially that you will be set apart from your family. You'll be in conflict yeah. because what he says here at the beginning is, uh, where is it? And a person's enemy means will be those of his own household. Yes. I, I, I so when he that. says, I've come to bring a sword, mm -hmm. he's not saying he's come to kill people, but he's saying in terms of he's come to bring division mm -hmm. in the sense that when you find the truth, not everyone's going to like the truth and they're going to reject you for the truth. Yeah, wouldn't it be better to say he's not going to, he didn't come to bring to the vision, but it's going to cause it. Well, but that's in his, that's why I read okay, the whole context right. okay. and he kind of ex explains more mm -hmm. of what okay. the context is saying. So yeah. if you just look at, oh, he came to bring a sword, but actually yeah. when you read the rest, yeah. it tells you what he's talking about. There will be enemies within the household. Uh, household. Okay. And then he goes on further, you know, people will be thrown out like to their enemies by their own family mm -hmm. like people will be stoned and killed and whatnot for his name so he's mm. saying you know Christ says you don't go out and build a house without kind of counting the costs mm. so Christ is warning the people this is what it uh, entails that like mm. you look at Christianity early Christianity you had the martyrs as I said to you me and Christianity don't yeah. sit very well yeah no but that's fine but that's what I'm yeah. saying when Christ said because he, as I said there's no there's more churches in Jamaica than anywhere else yes that's fine as but I said, no 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 but, so as I said um, when I came to the country yeah yeah and this was supposed to be a, 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 an English country yeah and then when you go to church and the people they're looking on you funny yeah. and I'm thinking hang on this is why I said this is why a lot of those black churches yeah. separate right, but this is the thing what you have to do yeah. is not reject Christ because of what no, no, the church no 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 I'm not saying I've never rejected Christ okay Christianity well, well Christianity to me is just an yeah mm. but not based on the, the the Bible says the people are the church no, no, right. as we said you see when I talk about Christianity yes I would talk from an African okay because an African yeah. or people like us we know because you know what we yeah. will go through trial and tribulation yeah. and we will up the enemy yeah. but you have certain people yeah. they can't even forget what happened in the first and second world war yeah. Yeah. but just going back to the, what your brother no, said no as well needs. that the Jews and the Christians are the yeah, worst yeah, of mankind yeah. now is that uh, do you, no, do you, because, do you see me and this person and this no, person as the worst of mankind I, no not say this and this person as I said I don't know you yes. not because you're a Christian I'm going to just start labeling you no I only met you two minutes but this is what your Quran is instructing you to no, believe no it's not what my Quran is instructing us to do yes because you can take certain things so are you telling me all the atrocities that happened to my people and mm -hmm. other people those people that confessed to be Christian they weren't Christians can I ask, when you say... Hold on, hold on. No, but I just no, want no, to clarify. No, 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 no. So, I'm talking to this gentleman here. Yeah, say it again. Say what? Re again. Repeat the question. Right. <laughs> now I lost my chain of thought. What did I say now? Your, your, your people, people be persecuted. Be persecuted. No, no, I'm talking about West Indian black people, That's Africans. That's what I was asking. Yeah. Ah, yeah, 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 no, 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 because as I, as I said, because... Yeah. You said something about oh what happened with the Islam slavery, and I said that was different. Yeah. I said, it's not Christians that enslave. Anyone that told me, tells me now, now, yeah. before I'm thinking, yeah, but anybody that tells me now that it was Christians that enslaved, I would say no. Mm. It was people that pretended to be. Mm. But also, it's the same with the Muslims. Mm. It wasn't the Muslims, it was the Arabs. Yeah. Because you have Arabs who are also pagans. Yeah. But as I said to you, when I look in Christianity from a Western point of view, mm. and all their art, yeah. you know, in heaven, I don't see no. I don't see myself. Yeah. I don't see nothing of me. Mm -hmm. Why is that? But in Islam, you have companions. The mother of Muhammad, when he passed, who was it that gave him milk? Uh -huh. It was an African, and it's it's there in the history books. You hang, see, on, hang on, hang on. It's there in the history books. Their history books. You know. From a Western um, point of perspective, when it comes to Christianity, yeah. but, but I think you have yeah, taken a very warped view of understanding of uh, Islamic history. But 
before we jump on that, I just want to again press no, you on. I, it no, no, I have to go soon anyway. But okay. listen, because I, I never me, live. Un, listen to me. Okay. I never live under no Islamic. Look, hold on. Yeah, I, but never I, live, I, was, I never live. I never live under no I Islamic. Hold on, man. Remember, man. Remember, I, I was talk, responding man. to yeah, what you were saying. I'm to talk, look, yeah, but I'm remember, to, I was responding to you. You spoke, and then I was okay, responding. So that's why. That's why I just wanted to make my statement because. If you've got to go, because the thing that what I want to say is no, that, it's my first time up here. Is, is that we there? There are men. I've got the evidence on me. For example, where your prophet condemned black people, he called them <laughs> raisin heads. Mm -hmm. Two, um, he he had uh, two black mm -hmm. slaves. Mm -hmm. Don't um, forget Christianity. Don't forget you know, Christianity also yeah. financed this. Tr but this is but this is the difference. You have rejected Christianity because of this but then mm -hmm. your prophet who you is supposed to be the best of mankind mm -hmm. is doing these things so there's a difference between christians who are doing these things and they're not doing it in a christian way versus well, your I will prophet look, i will look up this about the prophet because okay where yeah. you get let, the information let me give you the references yeah and then you can look into it and there was a one where he called he said he saw a black woman and it said basically you've seen the devil don't forget what jesus said when the woman came to, to the dog, don't forget about that. No, no, he likened Iblis to a black man that he knew. He said, if you want to know what Iblis looks like, he looks exactly like this guy. Yeah, so let me just find the reference. Mm -hmm. Be so careful, you're too much of a legend. Separately from yeah, white yeah. People. Eh? how come I'm a legend? Because I think what because because no no he's asking me a question because this is my first time up here because yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like islam and has i study been everything on youtube is islam has been far yeah, more than as i said to him islam Olan, has Olan, been, Olan, and i oh, said to him no 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 I, I look at everything and i was saying to him that sometimes both the christians and the muslim doesn't come across correctly and i'm very good i'm from the street so when i see somebody I don't know if they're interested in coming to preach the word or not. Okay. And then I see certain people, you know, he's, he's good. He knows how to conduct himself. But people avoid questions. It's quite a specific kind of arena though, like compared to the street or church or mosque. No, it's the same. No, 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 no. Here is specific, like there's a character to this place, the way people address each other that they wouldn't necessarily do in a cafe afterwards. Do you yeah. see what I'm saying? I, I, people I, get yeah. aggressively... No, no, this is, no, you don't, this is not aggressive. You've not seen the fights on the video? This is not aggressive. This not is compared not, to the street, but the, no, this, is not civil civil this is not aggressive because, you know, as I said, from the... Don't have that camera on me, you know? It's no, yeah, just me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so this is the first one. This yeah. is Bukhari. What's the reference? Say the reference, I'll put it on screen. So this is Sahih Bukhari mm -hmm. 693. Mm -hmm. The Prophet said, listen and obey your chief, even if an o Ethiopian whose head is like a raisin were made your chief. Now, if you have a problem with Christ's words, why would you say Ethiopian? And remember, Ethiopians were black people in those days, mm -hmm. to say whose head is like a raisin. Now, if anyone come up to you and said your head like a raisin, you'll go and box him one time. Why are you saying? Is it because I'm black? You say that I would box him. So, so would you like someone calling you <laughs> and me and all, I would all your Caribbean I, oh, people? Sorry. I would embrace him if he's called you a raisin head. I would yeah. embrace him. Yeah, sounds a bit Christian. You would embrace him. Why would you yes, embrace him? Because he's not what I'm supposed to do. What embrace him. According to the Not according. That's according. Christian. Yeah, not according no, to Islam. Islam. Okay. It's prescribed for you to fight and Allah knows best. Even to if fight? You do, that's what Allah says. And even if you don't want to fight, Allah surely knows what's best for you. And you will fight until there are no more disbelievers. So this is... Um, no, to it, to it, and it, to it. And it yeah. says, A slave came and pledged to the Prophet to emigrate mm -hmm. and the Prophet did not realize that he was a slave. Mm -hmm. Then his master came looking for him. The mm -hmm. Prophet said, sell me to him. And he brought him for two black slaves. Mm -hmm. Then. He did not, did not accept, accept the, the pledge from anyone until he asked him, mm -hmm. is he a slave? Mm -hmm. So why would a slave come and then your prophet gives him two black slaves? Let me look into it. Okay. Because I want to find out if that's what it really means. As okay. I said, I don't look at something that's and, just fine. Co and just comment. Yeah, I'm not asking you to okay. take my words wholeheartedly. I'm saying, yeah. go and research. Mm -hmm. If you're here yourself, next exactly, week, yeah, yeah. 
Are you going to be? I don't know if you no, hear no, this. No, 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 because that's why I'm rushing. I normally look after my mum. So, okay, yeah. okay. But if you're, but I saw these opportunities. So yeah. Like, let me come up. If you're down here, just yeah, research these things because there's many things, many more references. Okay. If you will go and Soko Films, mm -hmm. um, we'll put, I'll try and put some references in the in the um, yeah, I'll put it description. In the I'll put it in the description, description well. so you can have a look at those uh, references for yeah. yourself. There's more, mm -hmm. and you'll see these are the things that led up to the translate the Islamic, Islamic. that. The Arabic slave trade, mm -hmm. because these were prejudices built in from even from the time of the Prophet. This anti-black. No, uh, this was built before. Yes, before. No, it, because even the Prophet said that no. a black man is going to destroy but, the Kaaba. No, but what I'm saying, this slave was before yes. Muhammad in Arabia. Yeah, but we're talking about the denigration of black people. Mm. Because if your mm. Prophet was as great as you say, then he should have been arguing against these things and liberating the black, not saying two black slaves for one normal you person. You could say it's the same for Christianity. Because Remember, we follow, it, unless everyone. it's in the Bible. No, no. I, but, not what people were doing. Right, but there but, was in the Bible, yes. but no priest, no clergyman stood up. Now they're saying no, they should have said something. But can you show me in the Bible where it denigrates No, no, no. <laughs> Whether it says it in the Bible, what I'm saying <clears> that none of the churches spoke up against it. But the church, yeah, yeah, remember? Did, no, 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 they did no, no, no. Yep. Okay. None of the churches, no. None of the churches here yeah. or in Europe. But we don't. Because, as I said to you, yeah. even in. Pardon? But, but Britain was. Uh, but, but wait, Britain was see, what you're doing, instructional but what you're doing, in no, ending no. slavery. But what you're and those doing, the Christians no, who did that. Two different no, no. things because we're and saying America, you're no, saying no, the church here. When they were talking about abolishing slavery, no, the reason why is because of the riots that were caused. Okay. So what about the Ethiopian Coptic church? No, no, I'm talking about, no, we're just talking about... Yeah, but why are you talking about this no, country? No, no, well, let's no. talk about the Ethiopian churches. Yeah. Where was the issue there? Because you're just focusing, because I'm saying it's not a part of Christianity. You can talk about what happened here, but then let's talk about the Ethiopian Coptic church. I can church. talk what about it here there? because I live here. Yeah. I don't know what happened But here. that's not representative I, I, of what... I know what I also, yeah. but that's my what I'm generation, saying. over 60 when I came. I came yeah. here, I know what I see. But what I'm saying to you not is only that what I've heard, because yes. I've heard from my parents. Yes, I but I don't deny your experiences. Okay. But what I'm saying is that experience you, you went through is not representative of no, what is what in the I Bible. And that's why I'm saying. I for when someone says, oh, we stopped it. Yeah, but that's no, but no, that's fine. No, no, because you can talk about go, William. Go no, no, we can talk about William Wilberforce, but there's a reason he didn't do it for my benefit. He did it for his own benefit. Yeah, yeah but and, and but that's, that's taken if, away of because what they Christianity. Knew, they knew that the just revolution was going. They weren't. They weren't going to need us anymore. Yeah, but that would take us down a different it's topic. A different, but different what I'm topic. saying yeah, is, you're right. I'm giving you examples of your prophet, his own words. Because I have a you're lot of, talking, I have a lot of anger that yes. hopefully, but that's what I'm saying. This can just come out because I said yes. If it, I mean, let, let me get your email or something and we can maybe... No, I don't have an email address, but I can give you my number. Or okay, we'll do it after this. Oh, we'll, soldier, no yeah, email. We'll, we'll do, we'll no, do no, it after no, this, I, when, no, we no, finish, when we finish. When we finish. Funny finish. enough, I used to work But, but what I'm saying, this animosity, mm. like, if I feel it's displaced, because if you even look at the Islamic things that they, the black people have... Look at Libya now. You can go and buy black slaves. You can go to many... But are they um, Muslims? Yes. Or are they Arabs? How do you know? Because, because Islam, I just said to you, Islam no, no, permits no. it. And this is what no, I'm no, saying. No, if no, we discuss, no. we can I'm look at the sources. I'm just saying to you, I would not say that about a Christian. Yes. yes. Because the way the, the, the Christian teaching doesn't teach it. But, but the European, they act opposite. But I, I've so, given you... So I wouldn't... So, so, but so I've given you two quotes use, from your well, prophet. They use, they use the Bible. You can use as much quote as you can. But, but then... What, Islam is based As I on. Said, you've what given the, me the two, yeah, yeah, and I'm yeah, going yeah, to go yeah, and research yeah, into yeah. it. Well, this is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. The reason why I don't make comments about the Bible is because yeah. I've not read the Bible. No, I've read right. little bits and yeah, pieces, yeah. so it'd be unfair for me to make a comment about the Bible. Yeah. And likewise, if you've only read a little bit of the Quran, yes. But you would just meet me two minutes ago. But, but just how, in conclusion, how, how what you can, I will say. How you say, can know me? But all I'll say in conclusion is that you need to come back to the true teachings of the Bible, not. What you've seen from well, the church. I am reading the Bible more. I am re not what reading you've the seen Bible more from the church. But what is the actual teaching? Because that is what Christianity is. The teachings of Christ. As I said, I've always had a problem from a child. And I told yeah. you, with this, Jesus is God. Yeah. Well, so, even when I talk, it doesn't, it, to me, no, it, I, could, I could never accept. Whether, whether I went to Islam or not. Yeah. Because I said, in my training, I studied Buddhism and whatnot. Yeah. But, I could not accept Jesus 
Why as not? God. Because God, God is God. Hmm. God cannot be, God cannot die. His creation cannot kill him. Okay. God cannot come in down to a physical. As I said to you, if he's going to sit beside somebody, <laughs> that means there's two of them. So let me ask you a question. What is the greatest thing Allah has done for you? No, no. What, don't worry about what Allah has done. I'm, yeah. I'm talking about my experience. Because I said, okay. I'm new. So, into, hang on. I'm new okay. into this. Into this. But what I'm saying to you, yeah. I'm over 60. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was a Christian. And I never felt part of it. Yeah. I didn't accept it. I accepted that there was a God, but I've never accepted Jesus as a God. Yeah. It, ne it never made sense to me. Yeah. So would it make? So make doesn't make sense that because God, even, no. But again, yeah. Don't worry about say the Muslim because even within okay, certain you. Christians they don't believe it. Do the Jehovah Witness believe that he's God? No. But you will tell them say they're not Christians. Mm -hmm. There are certain so. There's certain sects within Christianity that have but different things. But the thing things. is, what did the apostles and the disciples and Paul believe? How many Paul, years after Paul wasn't a, a Jehovah's Witness. So this is why we we have to look at why so did why Christ. So why so much variation in the in, in the Bibles? The church have one section of the, the the church have this Bible. There's there's bits of the gospel missing. Yeah. But then, what is it also that in the four gospels? Because I said I'm not learning it on this kind of subject. Yeah. But why does it say according to? If you write a book, you put your name. Mm -hmm. Whose name is on the Quran? Huh? Whose name is on the Quran? What do you mean? Whose, whose name? Is on the Quran? Who wrote Nobody's the Quran? Name on the, on the Quran? Oh, so but you said if you write a book, no, no. You put but the I'm name. talking about the gospel because when you look at the gospel, it says, doesn't it say according oh, the to? The gospel according to Mark. The gospel according yeah, to Matthew. So when it says yeah. according to, what does that mean? That means he said it. No. Yes. No. You can no, no, say, no. according to Kay, no. at least no, no, was no, called no, a no, black no, no. man because by What, what we Muhammad. have to realise is that no <laughs> one had was. any issue Ishak with the gospel two, four, three. until Islam came along. No, why no, do you say that? There was no historical no. evidence because to support. How long, how long ago did Islam come? 1400 years? 600 years after Christianity. Right. But, but there was no but one. There was always this problem between Christianity before Islam even Listen, Even in the Quran, it says that. Allah so, has right. given no, no, the, the so are you telling me the Christian no, scholars that write about the Bible mm. are influenced by the Muslim? The modern day scholars? No, not even the modern day scholars. Yeah, there, there's no historical person because we look and look at the writings of the church fathers, the earliest people who wrote about Christianity Listen, and I, I need to, I need to, I need to go. I would, if, yeah. if, if I can, um, it's two o'clock to start up here. Oh, uh, yeah, about three, three. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because as I said, I've got to go and do yeah. deal with my mum. But I all I'm saying is, don't deny your salvation. You know, look in, look deeply. I'm, I'm looking, as I said, yeah. at the moment. That's right. Muslim and Islam yeah. sits with me from what I'm learning and from what I've been. Yeah. Because I mean, I can I, you, you we can have a nice dialogue, and I, I've enjoyed our conversation. Yeah, you know. When I'm with Christians, I, yeah. maybe I have my own problems. Maybe yeah. of, of course, I can know, see what I it never, is. I never felt comfortable. Because yeah. yeah. with you, I think you're putting, when you came to this country, the issues that you had, and it's a va valid uh, critique, and I think it's something that we do need to look into because your experience has also alienated you from this core belief because you believe it's influenced how can these Christians, so-called Christians, act in a certain way if they are following the Bible? And that is a very valid question and a lot of people do well, feel said, like that. Since I've embraced this now, I've changed my perspective on that and I'm yeah. saying to you, now, I don't say, oh, just Christians, because yeah, yeah. just because somebody does something, I yeah. have to look, and if, and if a Christian, yeah, yeah. So what do you think, what do you think I was, Christian? Yeah, because you no, no, no. about it. No, 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 no. Yeah. My mother and father are Christian, the children are Christian, even my wife are Christian. But you I, are Rasta? No. What do you mean I Rasta? What do you know, you know, about, what you know about Rasta? Haile Selassie. No, what do you know about Rasta? A good friend of mine is a Rasta. No, what do you know about Rasta? What do I know about him? Yeah. Religion? No, but so cool. Get me off that, I don't know. No, because everybody thinks, you know the first Rasta, he, wasn't even, he didn't even have locks. So I heard. It was a barley. There was a reason why this movement started. Big up the barley. The reason why I didn't, didn't <laughs> join this movement, yeah. because there's no way I could accept Selassie I was gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this, that's a bit of a... Yeah. Bit of a yeah. But no, because what happened in, the, in that part of the country, I can tell you. Because you see, when I was a child, there's no way I could say I'd be a Rasta. It wouldn't be accepted. 
but because of what the English have done, they wanted to break away. That's why they formed that kind of thing. It was to free us from this slavery. Mm. But I, I never subscribe. I never subscribe to it. Yeah. I never subscribe to it. Yeah. It was nice talking to yeah, you. Yeah, you too. We'll, we'll continue but the dialogue. But I'm doing can, research, um, and I said, yeah, if you can come down again. Shunning? No, the way he, he, he's going to come. I don't have nothing. No, I, I, no, no, I, no, I it's not a matter of come back. I've got nothing yeah. against Christianity. But the thing when is, you, when I look at the word of, of Jesus, if everybody lived by that, it's okay. Mm. But when you check the behavior of people yeah. that claims to be Christian, yeah, okay. you have also in the Muslim. Okay. When you look at some of their behavior, you're thinking, well, I turned the other way. Mm. So what I do Literally. now, I don't look at another person. I don't look at you as a Christian. I look at yeah. you as a Muslim. I'm stuck. You read the Bible. I read my Quran. Yeah. And I follow that because you're the same as me. You can make but mistakes. When, but when I read that the Quran says the Christians and the Jews are the, the worst, worst of creatures, creatures. Ah, okay. you didn't well, respond no, to that. From my point of view, the way they behave, I don't, I don't they are the worst so you of think creatures. I'm, okay. because, so you think me, him, this no, no, person, no. that person? But, as I said, I don't know you to say that you or him. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but remember, this. this is the words of Allah. Allah's not saying you need to know me. It's saying categorically, me just being a Christian mm. or someone being a Jew, they are the worst of mankind, period. Well, the, by the behavior, by the so called Christians and Jews. And yeah. With what the Jews. But that statement is a blanket statement. Not even well, a portion of people <laughs> is saying to everyone. everyone yeah. And is that something you can like sit yeah. well in your heart to say yeah, yeah. Before your it, whole family no, no, before your whole family is the worst of, of yeah. man of creatures. Yeah. That's but, what it's saying. Are they really Christians though? Your if, family, your your mum, your wife. Well this is the discussion we're having because again, behaviour. Yeah. Now, so I, do, do they, my they, children can yeah. see. So yeah. are your chi children are worse of mankind as well? No. What but I'm that's saying, what your Quran is saying. Well, I have to look into that. Okay, I'll uh, give you the verse oh, so yeah, you can look into it. Say, give him the reference. <laughs> and also maybe the um, deficiency in the mind as well. From the hadith, maybe he'd like to also see that. No, this is, this is another thing that we'll, we'll get before I go. So this is um, mm -hmm. 98 al Bayna verse 6. 98, 98 6. Mm -hmm. So indeed, they who disbelieved amongst the people of the scripture and the polyphists will be in the fire of hell. Abide in eternity yeah. therein, these are the worst of creatures. Yeah. Worst of creation. But that's trans translation. So I translation. All the translation. Right, but take the reference and then go yeah, you can use it for yourself. I'm going to say something to you. Because that means your children, your wife, your mum, they're all the worst of. And every day you look at them, you have to understand that they're the worst of mankind. <laughs> Were you. Oh, okay. Because Christ never said that those kind of words, and we have to look at how can you have someone like Christ and then someone like <laughs> Muhammad afterwards? Because if you oh, come there, say, so you see me, oh, oh, I am operating. Mm. When I see somebody yeah. take from this to justify this, I'm suspicious of them. You must come with your truth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, no, 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 uh, no. You must. Uh? If it's with white devils. You I'm must come you. with your truth. <laughs> I don't have to show you this man's weak yeah. point. Yeah. I use myself as an example. Yeah, yeah. So when I start to say, oh, because this man do this and this man, you know what? Yeah. You switch me off automatically. Your Bible and your behavior should be your standard. Yes. Not to pinpoint, oh, because he, no, regardless, forget about Muslim, because as soon as you say Muslim, as soon as you say Christian, you separate. But the whole point is, you saying that, look at the thing, but then when you were talking about your experiences in this country, and I kept saying, let's look at what the Bible was saying, so then you should apply that same understanding but to understand my the experience of the Bible. Oh, no, oh, no, you're, no, no. You're, you're my jumping. experience is yeah. my experience nobody gonna tell yeah. me what i go to i didn't, what I do I didn't go say to. i didn't say that and i didn't deny that i so, said your experience does not reflect what is in the bible because you said let's build so what upon I'm what saying, is in the text so that's what i'm saying are uh, those people before that claim to be christian they weren't christians I'm saying, let's no, no, look no. at the, no, no, I'm no. saying, let's I'm look, saying. no, but this is, let me respond, I'm saying, let us look at the criteria of the Bible and then compare what they are doing to what the Bible says. Then we can know whether they are acting as a true Christian or not. Mm. 
that's that's the you have to go from the foundation unless you have a but foundation yeah, you have for nothing me, to judge i have it. to read the whole bible okay i have to read the whole bible but yeah. you have to be fair and then you have to also read the quran yes and then when you read the quran then you can say oh is this person acting according to the quran but that's not well, my well, argument because i always brought you references from your own from the prophet so unless you're saying your prophet goes against the quran then you're out of islam because you have to follow the sunnah of your prophet i didn't appeal to i i didn't i didn't appeal to outside people i appealed to what your prophet said and did yeah <laughs> no because again, anybody <laughs> can read what they want to read and, and twist it and use it for what they want no, but that's why I gave you the references mm. and said go and look. You can't, you can't deal with it. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> no, say, 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 say your question. Bro, bro. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not... Nice, nice to talk. Where you from? Oh, okay. But say, say, your, no, say your question uh, off, off camera, off camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 so in conclusion, uh, we started off speaking with Desmond. Um, so he tried to highlight his the things that he dislikes about Christianity, and it kind of stemmed from his experience of racism within this country. Um, he seems to be a part of the Windrush generation, or his parents were. Um, so I think it's obviously something Christians should kind of have an understand of, uh, understanding of, um, in terms of sometimes people's experiences cause them to leave the church, even though it's not the right reason, because the, the actions of the church sometimes, or society, is not reflective of what's in the scripture. Um, but it's just something that people should become aware of, because we're here to um, address people's concerns and address topics where we feel people sometimes leave the church based on misunderstandings of what happens in the church and you should never leave the church because of something that happened according to the church but you know you should always be able to differentiate between the teachings of Christ and Christianity and the behaviours of certain people especially if it's not reflective in the text or the teachings of Christianity and I think he had a lot of um, animosity towards the Christian faith because of this Hopefully I'll speak to him, you know, more times, but those issues he had, those issues are still very prevalent within the Islamic literature. And that's why I went to the Islamic text where Muhammad called people raisin heads, uh, where he traded two black slaves for one. He compared, uh, he said, if you want to see the devil, he pointed to a black, a black person. He said that he said a black person would destroy the Kaaba. We see even in the Quran on the day of resurrection, the people who are bad get turned black and the people who are good go white. So we see many, many things I didn't get to discuss with him, but we also see the impact of the Arabic slave trade, which lasted far more longer than the transatlantic slave trade, which people try and use to denigrate Christianity. But then Muslims never apologize for the Arabic slave trade. The castration of thousands of black people being made to eunuchs. We even see in Libya today and many Arabic countries today where black people can be sold and traded as slaves. We go to Mauritania within Africa that still has slavery prevalent till today. So what we see is a lot of uh, kind of whitewashing of Islamic history. Um, and hopefully Desmond will kind of look within this and I'm going to speak more on, on it as the year goes on and bring up information of the impact of the Islamic slave trade especially within Africa um, and the, to the detriment and the destruction of many communities um, and then he obviously spoke about he didn't believe Jesus was God but we didn't get a chance to speak on that um, but the thing is in conclusion what people have to realise is that People's experiences within certain cultures aren't always reflective of what the Christian faith is about, you know. And that's why I pressed him and said, okay, let's look at the Coptic Christians in Ethiopia. The same issues that they had in this country is not what they had here, especially with slavery and such. 
so it kind of is used to dispel the theory that Christianity is somehow um, synonymous with slavery and tra the transatlantic slave because we can look at uh, the Coptic Christians who go v way back to the, the second, third century. Um, so in that context, especially even the perceptions of how Christ is um, portrayed within imagery, it's just what, that we buy into a very Europeanized version, which was just reflective of the society at the time. So in conclusion, you know, Christ is the way, the truth and the life. And we compel people just to look at what the teachings of Christ were. I wanted to compare his Muhammad's life compared to Christ because people seem to know that Christ did no wrong but then there are many things that Muhammad did that they don't agree with but then for some reason they believe he's a prophet after Christ but why would you go from something perfect to something imperfect it's like abolishing apartheid and then going back to apartheid a hundred years later no if you've progressed you don't go backwards so why would God send someone like Christ who was an epitome of um, the perfect human in terms of his compassion and then go to someone like Muhammad who did so many things wrong and that we don't agree with to, to, till today so we have to look at it logically in that sense so on that note until next time